Right. So the first verse that we mentioned, what did he do with the money? He purchased land. Right. And the second one, he threw it away in the temple. Right. In the first verse, he fell headlong and his entrails gushed out. In the second, he hung himself. I have to research. But it, it is a contradiction apparently, right? Okay. Let me give they kind of have the stuff. same, they have the same, the same meaning, you know. But I get, I get it, I get what he's talking about, I get it. What's good, B Squad? Ish, your boy, bless, and I'm back with another one man so look man you see the title we got shocking christian preacher admit bible has contradictions man you know what i'm saying shout out to you all hack my bad if i'm pronouncing your name wrong man my bad bro you feel me but look man we're gonna be checking this video out together before we do man make sure to drop a like on the video make sure to subscribe man turn on your post notifications because i post daily reactions man also feel free to recommend any videos you want me to react to and i got you man with that being said let's get into the video man James. No, it's not it. Oh, the Gideon. Yeah. You stab that in every book. No. Yeah. No, this is not the real one. It's not a King James Bible? No. Authorized well, 1611. Okay, let, let me show you where it says yeah. King James. Yeah? That's a holy Bible. King James Bible? No. The new. The new is just a translation, right? New is no good. So, oh, yeah. so you don't believe in this? No. What about this one? And ASB. No, it's even worse. That's worse, huh? So this is so, mm. so, so, so. Which one is the real Bible? Sixteen eleven. Okay. So let me ask you about some verses, and then you you, you can bring up the uh, sixteen eleven. Yeah, that's the question I'm asking. Why does the Bible has multiple, uh, you know, multiple translations? That's the Kim James version. You have the Good News version. You have the uh, there's another one like that. I remember it back back in the day. There's one like that, and then uh, yeah, it has multiple versions. You know why is it that way? You know, I'm just asking a question. Um, I'm just asking a question. You know, I'm trying to learn. I'm just asking a question. I'm not trying to compare. Uh, I'm just yeah. I'm just trying to ask a question, man. Uh, let me look it up for you, King James. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Like, what's the difference between them, you know? Because I don't really know the difference like that. What's the difference between the Bibles, the King James version? KJV, King James, right? Right. Okay. So. But that's the. If that's you look the, at here in Matthew, and Jacob begotten Joseph, the husband of Mary, right. to whom was born Jesus, who is called Christ. Right? Right. Is that the same in the King James? I don't know. I don't well, let's, let's look it up. Yeah. And not everything is gonna it's gonna be different. Some a lot some of the stuff is gonna be the same, some of the stuff isn't. So no problem. Happen to find There you go. King James. Read it? Right. Okay. Like I said, it's so it's the same, right? It's, that one's the same. That one's the same, okay. So who's the father of Joseph? Whoever it was in his lineage. Who is it right there? Jacob. It's highlighted with a red. What is it? Jacob. Right. Okay, so Jacob right. is the father of Joseph, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. But so you know it's not the Jacob of that Jacob. I got you. Right. We're in Luke now. Right. Okay. Let me look it up here as well. Yeah. No problem. Okay. And now Jesus himself began his ministry at about 30 years of age right. as being the supposed son of Joseph, the son of Heli, right? Mm -hmm. Is that the same in the King James original? Right. So who's the father of Joseph here? Check it. There it is. 
Joseph, the son of Eli. So Eli is. But earlier it was Jacob. Okay. So which one is it? Okay. Would you say it's a contradiction? It seems like a contradiction, but okay. I have to study Good. more. But you do see that there's a clear contradiction here, right? Well, the two, the two different gospels saying... Two different fathers for the same Joseph. Right, I have to, I have to read it. Okay, so if you read it and find that it is a contradiction, would you agree that's a problem? It would be a problem, but I haven't researched it. I appreciate that. I appreciate your honesty. Yeah. Good. Okay. Yeah. Um, let me ask you Second Chronicles 22.2. Isaiah was 42 years old when he became king, and he reigned one year in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Ataliah, the granddaughter of Umri. Is that correct? Okay. Right. Okay. Are you a pastor, a preacher? Looks like you're well read in the Bible. No, no, I just study it. Okay. Second Kings, uh -huh. in eight twenty-six, Isaiah was twenty-two years old when he became king, and he reigned one year in Jerusalem. And his mother's name was Ataliah, the granddaughter of Omri. Right. How old was he here? Twenty-two. And the other verse? Forty-two. Is that a contradiction? There is, but I don't know if it's the same mm. king. I don't know. So, so it's a good, good point, right? Right. Isaiah. Who, were, who ruled one year in Jerusalem. What's his mother's name? Right, Athaliah. And the granddaughter of? Omri. And in the other verse? I got you. Relax. Same mother, Athaliah. Uh -huh. Same grandfather, Omri. Same one year in Jerusalem. Right. Two different ages. Yeah. And it was only a one year rule. Yeah, yeah. So that's a contradiction. Yeah. I don't you would know. agree. I have to, I so, have so, to, so, I mean, I have to research it. Go home, research it. Look it up. Do you want to take pictures or write down the verses? Oh, yeah. No, I can. Yeah. Okay. I can, oh. I can research them. So, would you say apparently these are clear contradictions? On the surface, it seems like a contradiction. Mm. But again, I haven't researched yeah. it. I got you. Second Samuel 24 9. Yeah. Then Jacob gave the sum of the number of people to the king. To King David, right? Right. And there were in Israel 800,000 million men who drew the sword. How many? 800,000. Okay. And the men of Judah were 500,000. How much? 500. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. First Chronicles 21 5. And Job gave the sum of the number of the people to David, saying King David, all Israel had was 1,100,000. You see that different from the 800,000? Right. And Judah had 470,000 right. instead of 500,000. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe that was later on in their battles. Same Job, same king, same incident, same county. Yeah. Right? Uh, so they do seem like clear numeric on, contradictions. On the surface, yes. Okay. But I have, again, I have to right. research it because. I got you. No other problem. People look research these contradictions and they give answers to it. yeah right. it might have so like like the different like different time frames it might be like for different time frames you know what i'm saying probably they were this this year old and then that that happened but it don't really make no sense but you all get what i'm saying might be different time frames for the for the incidents that happened but i'm not really sure but why is it that way though why is it that way you know why is it not just one bible bro one bible bro you know one why isn't it this why why all this confusion bro why bro king james version good news version this and the third which one do people follow bro man man bro i have the i have the good news bible with me i have the good news bible that's the one that's the one i i, I have you know the thing is they kind of have the same they they, they kind of have a uh, different, you know, different wordings, but similar meanings, you know what I'm saying? Similar meanings, but this right here is, you know, total, like, it's kind of contradicting a little bit, you know? It's kind of, so that's what people don't get, you know what I'm saying? That's what people don't get, but I might be wrong, you know? I might be wrong, you know? I'm I'm, I'm still, hey, I'm, I'm not too diverse in religion like that, bro. I'm not too diverse in religion, bro. Oh, yeah. And there are yeah. clear contradictions. Will you then? Then, then that will be Okay. Do you believe that Jesus was God? Yes. And do you believe that he knew everything as God knows everything? Yes. Okay. In Mark 13, 32. Oh, what? yeah, but that day, no. Nah, I believe that 
Jesus was the son of God and they have a connection because, you know, whoever passes through the father passes through me, you know, whoever talks to the father, yeah, talks through me, you know what I'm saying? So they have a connection. That's how I see it. They have a connection, you know. That's why people pray when they pray, they call Jesus. They don't they, they don't really mind calling Jesus a God. You know what I'm saying? They don't really mind because they have a connection. They have a connection. That's why they don't be tripping like that. You feel me? It's not it's not like a big because they feel like nah, they have the same connection, so it don't really matter who you really pray to, you know. Okay. That's true. But all of that day Okay. When he before he went to the cross, he didn't know. But okay. after after so on earth he was no longer God? No. The Father had not revealed that to him. So that means he didn't know? Because No, because, because he okay. hadn't died on the cross yet. Okay, so that means at that time he was not God because God he knows everything. But how God. could he be God and not know? Because the Father had not revealed him. So For the he, same he, reason he, listen, in the Old Testament. Listen to yourself, right? What's your name? Mike. Mike, nice to meet you. My name is Afman. We agreed that God knows everything. Right. There's nothing unknown to God. Right. And if Jesus doesn't know the hour, the Father does know, right. and Jesus doesn't know, right. then that means at that moment, according to your definition, He could not be God because God knows everything. He knows everything, but He, but he, he doesn't know the hour. Doesn't, doesn't, that wasn't revealed. So then He can't be God because He didn't know something. It's, Come it on. Seems, look, it's, okay. It seems like it's not, but He did know after the resurrection. Where does it say that? He has the keys of hell and death. No, no, where does it say He knew the hour? It doesn't, it doesn't say you, just, you, know the you just made it up. Yeah. Okay, so here, what does, according to the Bible, according to your Bible, Jesus says, but of that day and hour, no one knows, right. not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, right. but only the Father. So right. you would have to agree, by definition, right. at that moment, Jesus could not be God, because you and me agreed earlier that God knows everything. He nothing knows. is hidden from God. That, yeah, nothing so is hidden from God, God, yeah. Here's the thing. He was he didn't have the authority to know that from the father. So if he didn't, that means he didn't have some authority. I got but you. It's, it doesn't but diminish his God. If he didn't have the authority, right. that means he didn't know the hour, right? He didn't have he didn't he didn't, he didn't, he he didn't know the hour, right? He didn't if he didn't know something, right. he cannot be God because we agreed that God would not, knows everything. That would not diminish his God. How can God not know something? Because the Father had permanent authority. So Father is above Jesus? In the Old Testament, yes. This is the New Testament. This is Mark. I'm, this, I mean, saying before the resurrection. Okay, so that means the Father was greater than Jesus. The Father said Jesus. Had to be. So the Father is greater. But now, after the resurrection, the Father has put his name above even his own name. Where is that? Above, name given above every name where men must be saved. Above God Himself, the Father? Name given above every name? Interesting. That's above every name. Would God at least know if there's fruit on a tree? Yeah. Okay. Here in Mark, yeah. it says in 11, 13, And seeing from afar a fig tree, right. having leaves, Jesus, He uh -huh. went to see perhaps that it would have something on it. Right. When He came to it, He found nothing but leaves, for it was not the season of figs. Right. How could God not know if there's fruit on a tree? Come on, Mike. Uh, I tell you, hold on. I'm listening. Okay. Jesus turned on and it's off his divinity. <laughs> so when he turned it off, he wasn't God then. When he turned off the divinity, he, he's man. He so he's not God at that time. He is God. He has you just said he turned off his divinity. So how could he be God if he's not divine? It's Mike, you know that doesn't make sense, right? right? It's just like in the book, of, in the Gospel of John, he, he says, who are you? He says, I am, and the six hundred fall. Okay, see, the question is, if you say Jesus turned off his divinity, I, yeah. then at that time, he's no longer divine, right? At that moment. Okay, so he is not God at that moment then. His divinity is turned off, but his Godhood is there. So if he's no longer divine, how could he be God? Is God not divine? He is divine. Okay, so when, if, he also, know, if, also, if he doesn't know if there is tree, f fruit on a tree, right. if he doesn't know figs on a tree, if he doesn't know when is the hour, if he has turned off his divinity, right. that sure sounds to me like he's not God then. He is God. That doesn't make sense, Mike. How, 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 if he's not God, how could he resurrect the dead? Look, miracles are there. How could Moses split the ocean? How could the prophet Muhammad split the uh, moon? Peace be upon all of them, right? Those God, are miracles. God gave, God gave Moses the power. The prophet Muhammad split the moon?
I never heard about that. I never heard somebody split the moon. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is bringing a lot of conversation. A lot of conversation right now, you know? And he split the moon? Oh, I never heard about that, all right? God gave Jesus the power. Interesting. And God gave Moses the power. Look, the Bible you're depending your salvation on is filled with contradictions. And you've seen them. Heard of those three, I have to be sure. uh, Three, I have more than 75 marked. I'll show you one more. Okay, okay. in the New Testament. Okay. How did Judas die? Hung himself. Okay. And, and fell. Which one was it? He hung himself and this is bowels gush. So. From hanging? This is his bowels gush. Okay. And John. And this man purchased the field with the wages of Anuka. So what did he do with the money that he was given? Purchased the field as well, right? He purchased the field. Right. Okay. And falling headlong. How did he fall? Headlong. What does it mean headlong? Head first. Head, head, head first. In motion. Right? When your head, not straight down, not feet first, headlong. Right. Okay? Yeah. Right. Falling headlong, he burst open in the middle and all his entrails gushed out. Right. Nothing about hanging. Right. Right? So what happened with the money is he purchased land and then in motion, falling headlong, right. he fell and his entrails gushed out. Is okay. that correct? Right. That's correct? Am I being recorded? Uh, I'm being recorded. Oh, I, so I, you don't want to? Okay. Can you put the camera only on me? Oh, no, I don't want to be recording at no. all. Okay. So, in the same, and let me just show you the other verse. The Judas, uh, okay, let me just show you the verse, right? In Matthew 27, 5, then he threw down the pieces of silver in the temple and departed. So what did he do with the money here? Departed. So he threw down the pieces. He didn't buy land with it. Right. Isn't that a contradiction? And he went and hung himself. And he went and hung himself. Right. So the first verse that we mentioned, what did he do with the money? He purchased land. Right. And the second one, he threw it away in the temple. Right. In the first verse, he fell headlong and his entrails gushed out. In the second, he hung himself. I have to research. But it, it is a contradiction apparently, right? Okay. Yes. Let me yeah, give they you They kind of have the same they have the same the same meaning, you know. But I get I get it. I get what he's talking about. I get it. You can research and read. And if you find those contradictions and pray to that one great creator and you find the truth in Islam, would you become a Muslim? If you I find would. it to be the truth, why not? I Even if you found the truth to be in Islam. If it's, I, I've already, I've already. You see, but isn't that closed minded? But I've, I'm already. Uh, but if you have, okay, you can turn it off, turn it off. So what do you know about Islam? I know that you believe that Isa is the Messiah. Uh, yeah, we believe in virgin. Yeah, okay. Damn. So far, so good. Damn. Yes, and we don't work. What's in bro's stomach, bro? God damn. Jeez. What's in his stomach? Fucking hell. Him, right? No. That's good. Hey. Hey. Nope. Yes, 100%. We worship none but one Allah, God. the one that inspired Isa, the one that Jesus put his forehead on the ground and prayed to, that one God, that's the one we worship. What about you? I worship Yeshua. <laughs> A little bit. You know what? Yeshua. <laughs> so is it the one God or is it Jesus included in that? Yeshua is. Yeshua was empowered by the one God. Okay. He did many miracles, miraculous things. Well, you don't worship the one God, you worship the one that was empowered by the God? Say you worship the one that was empowered by God, then you're worshiping the one. No, 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 I wouldn't say that, right? Well, you wouldn't. I, yeah. I do. Okay. So did Yeshua, Jesus? Don't say Jesus. Don't say Jesus. Oh, man, I like you, man. What kind of Christian are you guys? Nazarene. Nazarene. Nazareans. I don't know much Nazarene. about. Nazarene. 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 I get Nazareth. Of like, Nazareth. Okay. But the word stems from Nazarene. Okay. And he shall be known as a Nazarene. Okay. Nazarene is branch. Okay. So as Zacharias said, his name shall be branch or Nazarene. You're so, a, so in Matthew, it says he shall be known as a Nazarene. I like you. Nazarene. Okay. So that's what that means. Nazarene. I was actually challenged by a Jewish person who said Matthew was an idiot. I said, why is Matthew an idiot? Uh -huh. He says, because he made fall the false prophecies. He says, if you read the scripture where it says he shall be known as a Nazarene, where in the, in the uh, Hebrew scriptures, 
is that? Right. And I didn't know. So I researched and researched and I found it in Zachariah. Nice. And I found out the meaning of Nazarene or Nazarene. Great. So let me ask you, so the Christians are called uh, Yeshua, Jesus. Why did they do that? Through ignorance. Ignorance. Okay. If you read a 1611 English version of the Bible, mm -hmm. it doesn't say Jesus. It says Jesus. Okay. Like Isa? If you go further into like maybe the Greek language where that came from. I like it. Jesus. Okay. Jesus is a transliteration of Yeshua, the Aramaic form of okay. Joshua. So all these Christians like Mr. Wood and Sam and all these guys and that, that go around talking about Jesus, they're ignorant. Yes. Okay, good, man. I, I like you. You're educating me. I appreciate that. Thank you. What is this? It's a paper. Okay. I, I realize it's a paper. <laughs> What's it about? <laughs> You're a smart guy there. You know, smart. You know, I got to like you somehow. <laughs> uh, so, this is on the name. So, in Acts 4.12, uh, when the name was revealed, or it was given to the uh, Apostle Peter, uh, Peter and John, they're in front of the Sanhedrin. They said there's only one name by which we must be saved that's given under heaven. The name was Yahshua. When uh, Moses was on the mountain and he asked God, what should we name our... What should I tell the people of Egypt? And he said, I am who I am, which is in Hebrew is actually Haya Asher Haya, or Yonke Wade, which is the tetragram. So, I mean, first thing, I really appreciate the knowledge. Like, I like to learn, right? So, you believe that the Bible is the Word of God? Yes. yes. No mistakes, no contradictions? No, there are mistakes, there are contradictions. There are things that man, okay. for example, okay, so that's good to know. When you find. Yeah, people, people, yeah, people might have mixed, uh, you know, mixed the, the the words, you know, that I could accept, that I could accept, might have mixed the words, bro. Yeah. So you believe there are contradictions and mistakes in the Bible? Yes. Well, but he just said yes. So. Okay. So, like for example, Matthew twenty-eight nineteen, where it okay. says, "Go and baptize the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost." Okay. Nah. No, he never said that. He never said that. So that's a lie. If you look at a book. It's called. Uh, it's written by Eusebius. Okay. He writes. Eusebius. Yeah. 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 Writes, yeah. yeah the liar. It's yeah. the actual. Huh? He was known as a liar, right? He he said. No, no, Eusebius. No, he was a historian. Yeah, 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 I know Eusebius, and he, he said he would fabricate for spreading his religion and things. He was, if you look him up in his biography, he's known as a fabricator, right? Eusebius. No, no? no. okay. We'll look him up. But go ahead. So what did he say? He was a bishop. So he, yeah, I know. I, I know who he is. Yeah. He can be a fabricator. He bishop. can be, but that's okay. No. Well, I mean, Catholics. Not the, 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 Not the Catholics that that had bishops, that many of them lied, right? Okay. So you can be a bishop and be a liar, right? Be, uh, an email and be a murderer. Uh, I agree. So, but but he was a liar, and he, you saying he was no, a bishop, so no, he no, can't no. be. No, no, no. I've studied okay. studies. I don't know okay. if he lies. If you um, do, you, sure. can, you can share him with me. But I, I will. I don't know if he okay, lies. But go ahead, say what he was saying. Anyway, the, the point is, is that during 325 AD, when they were having the Council of Nicaea, I see it. he actually wrote down Matthew 28, 19, uh, what he actually said. He says, go and make disciples in my name. Nothing about baptizing in the name of the Father, or the Son, or the Holy Ghost. So the Bible, as we have it also, today... First, really, First John 5-7, it's an interpolation. What that means is it wasn't originally in the scriptures. So there's like two main pillars of the Trinity. Okay. The two main pillars are Matthew 28, 19 and 1 John 5, 7. Okay. 1 John 5, 7 is a known interpolation. I'm with you. So the Trinity is false? Yes. All right, man. You guys are close to us? Mm. All right, keep going, keep going. So do we? Excellent. So go ahead. So you're saying the Trinity was a false doctrine that was introduced into Christianity, and and this Bible today has contradictions and fake verses that were put in. The Holy Trinity? Mm, I think it's mostly, I think I, that is it's mostly in the Catholic Church, bro. Because in my church, I don't really know about, it, about the Holy Trinity like that, bro. You know, I don't really know about it like that, bro. You know, so I can't really explain on it. You feel me? I can't really explain like that, but uh, I guess. All right. Uh, well, I think it was a lot, right? It does have interpolations. Very few, but it has them. And it has numeric contradictions. Numeric. Yeah. You mean like a thousand here, but really it's only a hundred there. Is that what you mean? Clear numeric contradictions, like eight and eighteen and twenty-two and forty-two. Maybe. Maybe. So you, you base your faith on a book that you know has clear contradictions and additions and fabrications. 
the reason why is uh -huh. because the reason why I was able to point out to you the interpolation sure. is because I look for continuity. Okay. And when I find continuity, I know that I find truth. Okay. So let me ask you, if you can tell me which one is the truth then, okay? Alright. So here Jehoachin was how old? That's it. You want to read it for me? Looks like he was 18. Second. Was 8? Okay, go ahead. Uh, second, uh, second, second Kings 24, 8. Jehoiakim. Jehoiakim was 18 years old when he became king, and he reigned in Jerusalem for 13, or 3 months, excuse me. Oh, excellent. How old was he? 18. Here, Second Chronicles 36, 9. Jehoiakim. Jehoiakim. Jehoiakim was eight years old when he became king and he reigned in Jerusalem three months and ten days. Oh. So how could he be eight and eighteen at the same time? It's a mistake. Yes. All right, so good, we agree there's mistakes no. in the Bible. Here's the deal. Chronicles was written for like Israel. Okay. And uh, Kings, or maybe the other way around, I can't remember, was okay. written for Judah. Okay. So there was two kingdoms. Okay. And they didn't always see eye to eye on things. So there are mistakes though. Can you go back to the same? Sure. I want to take that. No problem. Yeah, we're not like King James only. You know? yeah, oh, I'm not King James only. I mean, if you look well, at another no, Bible, not. I'm not. <laughs> I got the NSAIB uh, or NSC. Uh, are we being recorded, by the way? Uh, uh, yes, we are. Okay. If you don't like to be, I can no, turn no, it I to me. No, no, I just need him to stand on the other side. Okay, go ahead, stand on the other side. You, 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 you want his good side. This is my good side. So yeah. you're, you're a handsome man. Every side of yours is <laughs> a good side. Don't worry. Yeah. Okay. Really, uh, that's very interesting you point out. It is, right? I Let me show you a couple more interesting things. And, and by the way, again, I really appreciate you sharing this knowledge with me because I have really been looking for Christians that would teach Christians about this. Because when we talk to Christians and tell them, hey, Jesus wasn't his name, they get mad at us. But when you have an educated Christian explaining, and that's why I would... It's not his name. Right? What name is it? So you have, uh, as you were saying, Yeshua, right, in the uh, Old Testament, God. Joshua, and we, we can show on that paper that I gave you. I'm going to read it. Don't worry. Okay. This is Second Kings. Go ahead, please. Does it say Isaiah? Isaiah. Isaiah was 22 years old when he became king, and he reigned one year in Jerusalem. Keep going. So just we know. Yeah. Okay. Okay. His mother's name was. His mother's name. Was um, Atalia, Atalia, the granddaughter of Omar, Omar king of Israel. Okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Go ahead. please. Okay, is this uh, NKJV? This is the Are you yeah, new. Uh, yeah, you could say that. Okay. You read your Bible very much. I do. And I read my Bible before I started my Islamic studies, so don't think I read it to argue. Were you born in Islamic? I was born in a Muslim family, but I wasn't raised amongst Muslims. I was raised going to church. So I used to go to a... Yeah, I was raised going to church. Oh, so this is a verse here. Is the blue? Yes, please. Okay. Azura was 42 years old when he became king, and he reigned one year in Jerusalem. Keep reading. His mother name was Aliyah. Azalia. Azalia, the granddaughter of Omar. So, Umri, yeah? So now, that's okay, perfect. So now you have 22 and 42. Which one was it? So we have uh, numbers that are clearly contradictory. Yeah. Yeah, so there are mistakes, right? Yeah. It's a very important point to note here. True, these are true, not average true. Christians. These are well read Bible thumpers, people who are out there preaching. They were at the pier that day with their own table. They're walking around, giving out pamphlets preaching, I looked up their information, they have their own church, they have their own study circles for the Bible, and they know that there are mistakes in the Bible, that there mm. are clear contradictions in the Bible, there are things that have been changed in the Bible, they admit to it. And we hope that this will be a means for average Christians to know that they're being fooled by their pastors, by their Yeah, I know, I know that, I know that, you know what I'm saying? I know that there are mistakes in the Bible, for sure. You know, there are multiple versions, bro. Multiple versions. That's the thing, you know. So it's like, which one is the one? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know that. I appreciate you all for watching. You know, this was quite educative. If you like videos like this, make sure to drop a like on the video. Make sure to subscribe. Turn on your post notifications. Signing out, man. Peace.